Today's video is on the Wahoo Element or Element Bolt navigation. What I call the details you need to know or probably more accurately, the details I wish I had have known the other day trying to figure this out. The Element Bolt itself is identical to the Element feature set software wise, synchronization wise and everything. So from here on in, I'll refer to them as the Element or the Bolt, one and the same for this video. First up, an overview of GPS. What GPS actually is. As a technology, GPS only tells you your current location. That's pretty much it. It's quite simple. Everything else we've learned to know and love about GPS units are an add-on. They're in addition to telling you exactly where you are. So maps, that's an overlay feature. Your position history or tracking, that's where you've been. That's another feature of uh, a GPS unit. Those two are relatively easy to implement. And then there's route navigation or turn-by-turn -turn navigation. Well, that's a little harder. That's predicting the future. But it is a feature of all GPS units we've become accustomed to and we expect out of all units. The element slash element bolt does have turn-by-turn -turn navigation, but there are a few things you need to know about how it works, why it works, and how to get it working on your units and a few of the limitations. Let's go through those now. So with turn-by-turn -turn navigation being on the element, I set about creating the Tour de Burbs route here in Melbourne. 28 kilometers, hilly route, urban route with about 14 or 15 turns, not a lot to it. So I loaded the Strava route builder, I created the entire route, I loaded it or synced it over to the bolt, that was easy, with the companion app on the phone. I set about riding the route, all I was presented with was breadcrumbs. I had no turn by turn. I had the map overlay with the chevrons of where to go. So I had distance to go, that was it. There was no cues along the way. I didn't quite understand what was happening. One cool feature though was the elevation profile. I'll show that in a sec, but that's all it had. It did not have my turn by turn navigation. Using the Strava route builder, I thought that was the case. It wasn't the case. I got home and I got obsessed with finding out exactly what the hell I'd done wrong. So many hours later, I think I've got it all figured out. Here's the information in a few minutes that will help you guys save a lot of time when you're trying to set this up. First of all, there's two modes for navigation. There's route navigation on these units, which is just basic breadcrumb overlay. It'll have distance to go and it will show you the predicted elevation upcoming. That's it, that's all you'll get. It's not true turn by turn. Turn by turn navigation, on the other hand, has all of the above, so all your route navigations with your breadcrumbs, plus it has cues. It tells you where to turn. It's exactly what you expect for turn by turn navigation. What was the difference? Why didn't my Strava export have this? So the route exports from Strava, I found out, do not include the navigational cues. So they seem to strip them out for whatever reason. So all Strava then syncs is just simply the overlay of where to go. So the unit just says, well, that's all you've given me. That's all I can do. Now, why is this the case? Why can't the unit itself use that route and produce the cues? Well, on these units, they have global maps. Now to cram an entire world or an entire earth of maps into here, there's a trade-off. The trade-off being the maps do not include any of the metadata that's used for onboard navigation on these units. So street names, um, features, it's quite basic mapping on here. So in short, the element itself can only navigate on predefined queues. It can't do any smarts on the fly. On the other hand, Garmin units have full metadata within their maps and have the ability to reroute and route on the fly with their head units. Not the case with the element. The next question I had was how to get the turn-by-turn queue -turn navigations onto this unit? Well, the common answer was to use Ride with GPS. Just use Ride with GPS, job done. Not that easy, there's more to it. Commute is also another service. I didn't get to commute, that's a few more hurdles to jump through. So what I did, I signed up to Ride with GPS, I imported my GPX into Ride with GPS, I then synced back down to the element. It still didn't have the queues in there. I could not figure out what had happened. The key is you have to create the route from scratch with Ride with GPS or commute. But I created the Ride with GPS route Along the way, pinpointing all the cues. The cue sheet then populated. I then synced that over to the bolt. Hallelujah, we have turn by turn navigation on here. So in a nutshell, getting turn by turn navigation onto the element units, you need to use a third party service that will sync predefined cues for your entire route for it to work. Getting those created should be now clearer. It is for me, hopefully that's cleared up a few things for everyone else. And because the element operates purely on predefined queues only, there's no reroute. So once you're off course, you're off course, you have to go back on course. There's no rerouting on the fly. Now in the companion app, there's also a take me to function. So you can actually punch in an address and it will take you on its predefined route with turn by turn navigation, but there's no real flexibility there to add any waypoints. So if it's taking you along a dirt road on your bike, you're on a dirt road on your bike. Oh, Aussie 
One of the cool features that does stand out for me with the Element is the upcoming elevation profile that's shown. If you're on a course or on a Grand Fondo, you know that someone's gonna tell you which way to go, but they're not gonna tell you that this hill's coming up or it flattens off or it goes steeper after this. There's that coming up, so that's really, really cool. I do like that feature. That does work in breadcrumb and turn-by-turn -turn navigational modes. Now onto future ideas. Strava, can you please export those routes with queues? The queues are there on Strava, but they just don't export with them. As a premium Strava member, please can we export queues with routes to these units and it'll be happy days and very, very simple. We wouldn't have to sign up for yet another third party service. Uh, Wahoo, if your maps don't include the data that allows you to do on-fly navigational uh, turns and reroute calculations, maybe offload that to the phone. Let the phone do all the smarts and just spit it straight to the head unit. But the downside there is you have to carry your phone all the time and these don't become standalone. You might have to have 3G as well or 4G data connections on your phone. So probably a bit of a downside there, but we do need that flexibility. Over on gplama.com, I did a full blog post last week on this and everything I went through, all the process I went through to create turn-by-turn -turn navigations and the hurdles I jumped through. So if you're into blog reading, gplama.com, I will link below to the uh, article that I've written on that. So that's it for today. Hopefully that clears up turn-by-turn -turn navigation and simple route navigation on this, the two different modes I guess it has, and how to get those predefined cues on there. Hopefully in the future we'll see a few more third-party services or maybe Wahoo simplify the process a bit. Strava, please, can you export those cues? because it'll get us along our routes a lot easier. Okay, time for more Ks. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.